so good morning well good afternoon actually this is Sunday and I decided to go for a ride and I took the wrong way I thought I could go through the Costanera from this side but it seems it's one way only so I'll have to go all the way around damn it I had planned for today which was to go to San Pedro but unfortunately in the morning it was raining a lot and my plans were to see something that was on the outside so it would have been a waste to go there so yeah I had to cancel the plans although I might go next uh, weekend and since my plans were, were frustrated and I was bored at home I decided to go out and just go for a ride I don't know if I told you before but here on the right is the Campana train station you can see the tracks here on my right no trains though I think there are not running that many trains maybe just a couple a day so yeah as you know not the best transportation system actually I think we are going to be lucky and a train is coming so you'll see how shitty the trains are here you can see the lights there so it's not that far there you have one of the shitty trains that we have here see how slow it goes and it's using a cargo locomotive only to carry two wagons fucking stupid here on the left there's a sport club it's called CBC Campana Boat Club that means it's uh, yeah it's mainly a boat club that develop into a sport club and here we have the Paseo Costanero we've been here before I'm just going around I'm not going to explain everything again don't worry oh and by the way it's really cold today yesterday we had about 32 degrees and today we have barely 20 and I think it had we had about 14 early today so yeah we had more than 15 degrees drop from one day to the other Oh, and let me show you something. People drink so much mate here than that we have hot water dispensers here. So you can fill again your thermo and keep drinking mate. I bet you don't have one of those in your country. Um, by the way, that used to be a museum, a train museum, but it's closed. Campana has a couple of museums, but they are always closed, as far as I know. We have a train museum, the one here on the right, closed and we have the first Argentinian car museum and it's also closed I think I forgot to mention a really important fact about Campana and is that Campana is the, the city where the first Argentinian car was built so that's what makes uh, Campana famous also especially for people that love cars so now we're back to where we were I think I'm going to take the main street now so yesterday I wasn't sure but they were actually putting the flags they weren't removing them so yeah it looks nice with all the flags actually now that I think about it it's a bit weird that they put flags and they didn't put any Christmas decoration I mean Christmas is closer than any other Argentinian celebration there are some food trucks here on the left I think they are there every weekend as you can see, Campana is really green, it has really wide avenues. So yeah, I think it's a really nice city to live in. If you compare Campana to neighboring cities, I think Campana is the best and is the nicest. It's very well organized, especially on the traffic. And the, the government usually puts a lot of money on road uh, maintenance and parks and recreation and they usually promote culture so yeah I think they are doing a good job the only issues that I see with Campana are issues that happen nationwide like the economic crisis the lack of security the lack of public transportation or not enough public transportation so yeah Argentina problems that bus that you see there 
is full of uh, fans of uh, an Argentinian soccer uh, team called Boca Juniors. So there's probably a game today and they are being taken to the uh, soccer field. Oh, and another reason why Campana is popular is because it has many universities. So I think in the future Campana could develop itself as a university city. I think it has potential there. I don't know if uh, any government look into that. That airplane that you saw there, I'm not really sure if it's a replica or if it's the original one of a fighter that fought uh, on the Malvinas War. The Malvinas War was a war for the uh, Islas Malvinas or Frankland, according to the British, uh, where Argentina fought against the British for those islands. Uh, based on the territory, those islands uh, belong to Argentina, but the British uh, claimed them for some reason. Uh, so yeah, now they belong to the British.